right, Todd with Jeep Speed Shop. Here we have an engine that would still work. This is the E-Torque. So it has a different timing cover and a different water pump. Um, you know, this one here we got a good deal on it because it had really low miles. And here is a 5.7 that we use all the time. So this is from oh, 2009 to 2020 for sure. And this is a newer engine. So this is a 21, 22 engine. Um, so they'll both work, except for this one on the e-torque, you need to change the timing cover because of the water pump is different. The mount to the alternator is way different. All this is different. So the long blocks are the same. Intake manifold, all that's still the same. Just that you need to put this timing cover on this engine. So another thing, seeing that I'm looking at it, is that the oil pressure switch, or this would be the pressure sensor. This is the wrong plug that we don't use in our harness. This is the right plug that we do use in our harness. So on that engine, and it's not just e-torques, it's like 17 and newer, they run a different oil pressure switch. Uh, on some engines. So that's just the difference. A lot of people ask me, what's the right one? What's the wrong one? So this is one that we use on our wire and harnesses. This is the one we don't use on our wire and harnesses. So just saw that and I figured, hey, well, that'd be good. Kind of point that out. So e-torque engine will work. Timing cover will not. So it all bolts on. You can put this timing cover style onto this and it'll work just fine. So injectors, intake manifold, all that stuff is the same. As far as I can tell, the engines to 2022 would be the same. All right, so just kind of a quick walk around. This one here's got an eight speed. This one does not have a tranny on it because we didn't get it with one. So, but you know, we got a good deal on it, so we bought it. Also, I think, let's see if this has it. Oh yeah, so down here on the knock sensor, this would be the wrong knock sensor. So it has the smaller plug, kind of like that oil sender plug. So this knock sensor would need to be replaced. All right, so you'd have to also replace that on that engine because it's newer, way newer. To, oh, there it is. To that knock sensor, that would be the right one. So that would be the other thing on the newer engines, couple sensors, knock sensor, oil pressure switch, are different so those also need to be addressed at the same time all right i think that's about it i think that covers it if there's any more questions uh you can text me or email me at todd at jeepspeedshop.com all right jeepspeedshop out